Hi guys, welcome back to the Rhyme. So, uh, may iba naman tayo konti instead of the usual problem solving na ginagawa natin. So, we're going to derive the efficiency of these internal combustion engines or cycles which is for auto, uh, diesel, and uh, dual combustion. So, mauna muna yung auto cycle natin which has the formula of yan, E is equal to 1 minus 1 over RK raised to k minus 1, which is, uh, we have all the knowledge what RK is. And RK is the compression ratio. So compression ratio siya, and we all know that the compression ratio is the ratio of, of course, V1 over V2. So pag sinabing auto cycle, alam naman natin na meron lang naman dalawang uh, volume, which is, eto, pakita na natin yung graph. So we have this PB diagram and we have this TS diagram. So pag-usapang cycle, we are all familiar, familiar with the PB diagram. So we're going to use this one. Of course, uh, kagaya nga na sinabi ko kanina, RK is equal to B1 over B2 or our compression ratio. And sa PB diagram, meron lang naman tayong dalawang volume which is B1 and B2. Bakit? Kasi B1 is equal to B4 na and B2 is equal to V3. And Siyempre, as usual, alam na natin na this is an SBSB cycle. So, we have this isentropic compression, which is S, sa so 1 to 2. Sa so 2 to 3, of course, dyan papasok yung heat added or Q in. Pwede natin sabihin QA din kasi nga added. So, that was the constant volume heat addition. So, nakikita nyo, from 0.2 to 3, that was a vertical, meaning that was constant volume. And of course, sa 3 to 4, ganun ulit na curve, meaning isentropic, nag-expand naman. Okay, so, ibig sabihin lumaki from volume 3 to volume 4. And of course, again, 4 to 1, ito, V, which is constant volume heat rejection or the Q out. So we can say that this is QR also, meaning it represents heat rejected. So paano nga ba nakarating ang formula sa E is equal to 1 minus 1 over RK raised to K minus 1. And we all know at our first video about this auto cycle, meron tayong formula na E is also equal to the ratio of the network over the heat added. And to those who are asking what is that this network, so ito yung network. Okay, so that was your output dun sa nangyaring process. And of course, your input, yung pinasok mo is etong QA. So kapag kompleto naman ng mga given, at tinatanong sa exam is the efficiency. So, pwede mo naman kunin isa, isa The work net, the QA. Of course, work net is also equal to uh, QA minus QR. Then, QA. So, kapag may temperatures ka between two points, meron kang uh, CB ng air. So, you're going to get your QA. Kahit wala kang mass, basta per, kilo, per kilogram lagi ang unit. Pero, Lagi tayo may shortcut, of course. And mas mainam kung alam natin ang pinagmula ng ating mga shortcuts. That's why the objective of this video is to derive the formula of this uh, efficiency which contains this uh, compression ratio. Okay, so kung ibig sabihin, kapag may given na compression ratio, and we, we don't need to do this... Uh, formula work net over QA o isa-isahin pa. Basta may compression ratio ka and of course, yung K kapag walang given matic 1.4 kapag air. Ayan. So, you are uh, you already get that efficiency. Okay. So, let us start the derivation. So, saan tayo pwedeng magsimula? Of course, ang sabi ko nga kanina dito, E is equal to work net over QA and it also equivalent to the difference between the uh, Heat added and the heat rejected over the heat added. Of course, this is your output. This is your input. Input. Tapos ito naman ang output. Yung difference nila. Okay. So we may also write this E is equal to 1 minus QR over QA. So let us start in the QR. So we all know that QR appears at 0.4 and 0.1. So 4 to 1 has a constant volume heat rejection. So that was M C V delta T. And that was M C B. So anong mauna? 4 or 1? T4 minus T1 or T1 
minus T4. So, pwede nating sabihin na mas sa TS kasi mas mataas ang um, ayan, kita natin dito. Mas mataas ang 4 sa 1. So, that was T4 minus T1. So, mahalaga rin talaga na familiar ka dun sa TS diagram. And since this is a heat rejection, of course, mas mataas yung pinanggaling ng point which is 4. Okay, so proceed tayo sa QA. So, that was a constant volume also but uh, dyan naman papasok si heat addition. So, same lang, MCV, delta T, and that was MCV. So, an mas mataas, 3 or 2. So, of course, 3. Dito pa lang sa TS diagram, kita na natin that point true is further than point 2. So, that was MCV times T3 minus T2. So, meron tayong mga cancel, of course. So, that was 1 minus QR. So, our QR is M, CV, T4 minus T1. At ang ilalim natin is MCB times T3 minus T2. So, cancel si MCB. Ang matitira na lang na efficiency natin is 1 minus T4 minus T1 all over T3 minus T2. So, puro temperature na ang naipon natin para sa efficiency. So, medyo malayo pa tayo sa katotohanan na may RK over uh, RK raised to K minus 1 sa ilalim. How will uh, how we will eliminate all of this temperature to arrive for the RK? Pero since tapos na tayo sa dalawang process na gamit na natin yung formula ng constant volume ng heat addition and heat rejection, nakakalimutan natin that we can also derive an equation using this isentropic compression expansion. Okay, unahin muna natin yung from point 1 to 2. So that was S is equal to C. So we may write that T2 over T1 is equal to V1 over V2 raised to K minus 1. And syempre, don't forget that we all know that the compression ratio RK is equal to the ratio of the V1 over V2. So, dito pa lang, meron na tayong pag-asang maka-arrive dito kasi nakita na natin si RK. Ayan. So, cross-multiply. So, T2 is equal to V1 raised to RK K minus 1. Sabihin natin, this is our equation A. So, gamitin naman natin yung pangalawang uh, isentropic process which is a 3 to 4. So, from 3 to 4, S is equal to C. So, we may write also that T3 over T4 is equal to B4 over B3 raised to K minus 1. And guess what, guys? That B4 over B3 is also equivalent to RK. Why? Kasi V4 is also equal to B1. So we may write this as B1. And of course, B3 is also equivalent to B2. Kasi nga, andun sila sa point ng constant volume heat addition and heat rejection. So we may call this B4 over B3 as RK also. So this will become T3 over T4 is equal to is equal to RK raised to K minus 1. So cross multiply, so your T3 will become T4 multiply by RK raised to K minus 1. So that was uh, the equation B. So meron na tayong T2, may T1, may T3, and my T4. So this equation A and this equation B can be substitute from this uh, equation. So, tingnan natin kung may mga cancel. So, that was 1 minus T4 minus T1 all over T3. So, our T3 is T4 raised to RK. Uh, T4 multiplied by RK raised to K minus 1 all over. Ano? Minus, not all over. So, minus. Antayin lang natin yung reorder. So, minus uh, T2. So, ang T2 natin sa equation A is T1 
multiply by RK raised to K minus 1. And by that, we can simply eliminate. So T4 minus T1 is a numerator and common factor at the bottom is your RK raised to K minus 1. Pwede natin siya ilabas. So matitira dito is T4 at matitira sa right side is T1. So cancel this one, this one. Ayan. So that was 1 minus 1 over RK raised to k minus 1. And that will be the derivation of our efficiency here. Again, the efficiency of auto cycle is 1 minus 1 over rk raised to k minus 1. So, ganun kadali makuha ang efficiency basta sa exam guys given ang compression ratio. So, that's, that was a 10 seconds uh, computation on your calculator, direct substitution. At huwag na mga malilito guys, hindi porkit walang given na compression ratio, hindi nyo na kukunin dyan. So, mas maiksi pa rin yan kaysa dumaan ka sa work net over QA, kukunin mo pa yung QR, yung QA, delta T, and so on and so forth. So, that was the derivation for the efficiency of auto cycle and syempre, i-derive din natin yung sa dual and uh, dun sa combined na auto uh, and dual. No, no. Do sa combined cycle. Doon mas mahaba ang derivation. So, mas pinaka may sa auto, sumundod si diesel, and of course, pinaka mahaba yung sa dual cycle. So, ayun lang guys. Salamat sa pakikinig. And don't forget to uh, share this post or share this video and of course, subscribe to our channel. Bye-bye and God bless.